Hey, this is Kelly Janae, and you are watching the Reducing the Dosage series on Ethereal Ecology. It's been about two weeks since I made a video, <laughs> and I feel like I'm just I feel like I'm just getting into the video thing again. I'm like, whoa! I've I've been sort of neglecting this because I've been in sort of a dilemma, a dilemma of sorts, uh, in basically every aspect of my life. Um, so in terms of this medication. Since I went down from 62.5 milligrams to 50 milligrams, and, and it's tricky. It's tricky to talk about side effects as if they're something that the prescription medication caused versus something that is just there or is coming up as a result of external factors. But the main emotion and sensation and whatever I've been feeling is just depression. Um, the inability to get out of bed in the morning. Seriously, usually I'm, I'm up, you know, I'm like, okay, let's do this. Let's do our yoga. Let's go downstairs. Let's like wake up early and get on with the day. But first of all, I've been waking up in the middle of the night at like two or 3 a.m. every day and having crazy dreams, some of them quite disturbing, and just feeling so lethargic, and my energy level's good once I get up, but there's still this nagging feeling of, like, you're not happy. You're not happy. Something's wrong. Meh. And so I'm like, oh, you know, and I'm doing everything that I can in my power to remain positive and to to just remind myself that this is a phase and I don't think I really don't feel that this is a direct consequence of my going down in dosage I think that definitely what happens when you do go down is you're uncovering these layers and I was talking to somebody yesterday who told me that these videos have been helping her because she is on Lamictal, Lamotrigine herself, and she was saying that sometimes she'll just get off of it, you know, all of a sudden, and go manic, and make bad decisions, and then get back on it again, and, you know, has never really tried to get off of it in a way that's responsible, and honoring the fact that there's a huge shift going on in brain chemistry up here, but, you know, her, her psychiatrist told her, you, you're going to have to take this for the rest of your life. And that's not true. Like, what what kind of medica- what kind of- I'm getting a little off track here, but like, what kind of medical system says that you need to be on something for the rest of your life, or else you are mentally ill, you're wrong, there's something wrong with you, you'll never be able to improve. And of course she's like, I don't, you know, I didn't, be I don't believe that. But that is how our system works. <sighs> you know, a lot of people are saying you're really brave for doing this. And I appreciate that because the whole point is to unravel my soul. <laughs> like, that's the whole point of life, in my opinion, to be like the most powerful, fulfilled human being that I can be to make the biggest impact on this earth, I need to know myself. I need to know how my mind works. I need to know how my emotions work. I need to know what my dreams mean. I need to know when a sign is a good thing or a bad thing. I need to know what my body is telling me because it is my responsibility to be in control of myself. It is all of our responsibility to be in control of ourselves so that we can help others. That's all we're here to do. And that's all I want to do. <laughs> that's all I want to do. And so that's why it frustrates me so much to be in a mental state of depression or, um, you know, indecision and in this place of just like selfless or selfish thoughts, basically, that are like, I can't get out of them. So I can't help other people. And it feels that way. It's like, wow, how can I even help anybody if I can't help myself? 
And so that's what I'm doing. And when I did get on this medication, I helped myself, you know, and that was like a really big phase in my life that was very powerful and, and healing in many, many ways. But now it's like, okay, we're, we're looking at the shadow side of ourselves. It's the shadow work. We have to do it. And by that, I mean, we're looking at those sides of ourselves that keep us from being the best versions of ourselves. And most of the time we created that shadow. We've created every shadow that's around us, whether we were born with it karmically or if we've literally created it in our everyday lives based on the society that we grew up in, the beliefs and the agreements that we've made about who we are, which is never, is never true if it's based off of somebody else or something else. That's, that's an illusion. So you have to be able to come inward and to look at those parts of yourself that hurt. So this depression is just, it's just a phase. It's just a moment of like, really reevaluating what I care about. What are my values? Where am I going? Who do I want to be? I'm 24 going on 25 this week. It is about time for an existential crisis, you know? So I'm very grateful. I'm very grateful for this, for this uh, trying time. And the last moon phase I'm pretty sure the moon was in Leo and my friend my friend just called me and she was like I need to talk to somebody because I'm wondering if you know anybody else ever feels like if anyone else is feeling like there's just something wrong and I'm like yes I've been feeling that for the last freaking two weeks like something's wrong and we've concluded that you know there's there's a lot wrong in the world right now you know we're being affected by this and especially as females we're sensitive beings that's our power. And there is a lot of misogyny and illusion and obstacles in this world keeping us from feeling completely our intuition about what to do next. And so, of course, of course, there is a schism in the brain. There's discord. Because something is wrong. This system that we live in is wrong. It's based off of greed and hate. And all that humans know how to do when they're born is love and give. So there is something fundamentally messed up about the way that we have constructed this reality that we live in. And of course we're upset. Of course we're mentally ill. Whatever the freak that means. Like, I'm sorry that I can see I can see everything that's wrong with the world. I'm sorry that I'm not putting blinders, whew, that I'm not putting blinders on my eyes. And instead, I'm going to look it straight in the face. I'm going to figure out what my, I'm going to figure my shit out so that I can help figure this shit out. And it doesn't need to be a before and after process. This is why I'm sharing. It's because my healing is healing the whole world. And this is not, this is not the end. Like, this is one thing. This is just, like, the beginning of what I plan on, on doing in this world and, and how I plan on offering healing to others. And what I'm realizing mostly is that it takes community. It takes community. Nobody wants to heal alone. You don't have to heal alone. There's billions of people on this planet. Not to mention plants and animals and trees. The air elements, the sun, the stars. How can you possibly be alone? But the thing is, humans need to provide spaces and platforms for people to connect, for people to heal together. And therapy is like one of the most expensive treatments in this country, so most people cannot afford it, though every single human on this earth would benefit from therapy from a good therapist or any sort of healing modality, a guide, a guru, you know, spirituality. There's, there's a deep healing that's happening right now. There's a reason why all of these plant medicines are coming from all over the world to the United States, that yoga has come here, that meditation is such a big thing. Like, we need it. And we need to do it together. So me and a couple friends are actually starting a group in this area that we are getting together next week to figure out the name, the mission, and everything. It's like, we cannot stand idle anymore. 
and even the little daily things that we do, improving ourselves, being more environmentally conscious, it's like it's not enough. It's not enough for us because we care so much. And the time is freaking running out. It's running out, people. The sea caps are melting. Like the the tipping point of the atm- or the climate changing to a runaway global warming scenario is like 12 years, 11 years from now. We can reverse that. We can we can stop it. We I mean we, we can. It's going to take an entire world effort. And Lord knows it's not happening from the top down. So let's do something about it. And I'm going to be one of those people where we are going to be one of those people. And you should too. You should consider being one of those people who provides a platform for other people to get together and hold each other accountable and take action. And once that happens, I'm sure I'll, I'll share the platform and maybe it will become a freaking movement. I hope it becomes a movement. Oh, man. So, I'm glad that I got to just blurt out all this information to you today. As you can tell, there's a lot of passion burning in me. and There's a lot of desire for feeling fulfilled in terms of helping this planet and consciousness and just the environment. I mean, like, oh, like I have these skills. I have this power. I need to use it. I need to use it. We all should. We all can. We're so powerful. Like, Oh, let's not let anybody keep that from us. Um, yeah, and, and I'm, I'm coming out of my depression, I could say. And I think the biggest thing is just realizing, like, I have to take action right now. Like, I'm never going to be happy if I'm not, like, 100% just, we're going. You know, like, this is us. We're going. Like, boom, boom, moving, moving all the time because we have to move forward. Um, and, yeah, so, whew. thank you for watching this series. Um, subscribe. That would be amazing. You can go to ethereal-ecology.com and you can sign up for the email newsletter. I am working on some podcasts right now, so definitely go to the SoundCloud and subscribe to that as well. Uh, I post poems on there and other such things too. And if you want to donate towards the cause, uh, the Patreon is patreon.com slash ethereal ecology. You can become a monthly subscriber or don't donor and um, or you can just give one time or if you want to reach out you can definitely donate to me directly that money goes towards equipment um just recently bought a video editing editing laptop considering buying another camera um you know all the time i spend i don't get paid to do that it's just passion and um you know it's, it's really nice to know that people value what you're doing and sometimes it really it really does it makes a difference so thank you so much for your support. Much love to you all. Keep on healing. Go outside. Love yourselves. Love everyone. Be kind. Bye.